Hello. Today I'm going to make um, potato pancakes. I already started the process a little bit. And in German, this is called Kartoffelpfannenkuchen. And uh, I invited my friend Bettina and her husband Steve. You can show them to everybody that they're here. Musician, drummer, and Bettina is an actress. And Bettina actually requested that I make this recipe for you guys. So um, all we need is potatoes, flour, pepper and salt. I forgot to bring something out. And egg, one egg. And I already made um, uh, apple uh, apple um, sauce and that goes with it and in the area where I'm from um, we basically in Hessian uh, like to have uh, what they call a thick soup like a lentil soup or a pea soup or something prior to uh, having the potato pancakes I guess it's because otherwise we are actually having a lack of protein so it's an old tradition but we are just having the potato pancakes and um, I don't know how many are going to, uh, we are going to make. And also I have this beautiful machine here that I never used before. And I'm not sure if I actually get it all the way I want, but if I wouldn't, We have the good old fashioned manual um, system too. So we're peeling the potatoes. You guys are so quiet, you can talk. We can talk? Of course you can talk. I love potatoes. Me too. Yes, Bettina actually made a diet completely uh, from potatoes. I went for a few months just eating potatoes. And as I mentioned before, potatoes are very inexpensive and the very best good for you and very healthy and safe. Very good for you. And also during COVID times where people don't have money, that is a great thing to actually make a satisfying meal with them. So let me just put on my apron. All right. <laughs> then you're gonna do your whole German costume. <laughs> <laughs> My dear. So, um, as I said, I have to try this out. I've never done this before with this machine. But um, while I have it, I may as well use it. And see how it comes out. Joe is laughing in case you're hearing that. So let's see. I'm going to throw a few of those things in and see how that works. Pulse, stir, chop, puree. On. not exactly pureeing all that much let me see but I'm gonna go for it. some of them at least and then the rest I'll do in my old-fashioned way Andy gets you help where is the top now I don't see where the top is you see the top? Oh. There we go. On.
Christ Emmanuel. These are chopped, they are a little rougher, but when we use this other machine, this manual thing, there will be probably a little bit more um, finer, which I think we need to do. Okay, one second, getting a bowl. And So that's going to take a moment, but it's much finer now that I'm doing it that way. And we'll see you once I'm done with this. Oh, Chef of Future, what is the difference between potato latkes and potato pancakes, please? Well, one is the Jewish version and one is the German version. <laughs> and with the Jewish version, I personally think that they put much more flour into it, so it's much thicker. It's more like a thick pancake. Whereas with the German version, at least the version that my mom does, it's more liquidish and it becomes more crunchy. Yeah. And, um, I think with the Jewish version also, it doesn't come out right, it comes with an attorney. You can film them too, <laughs> Don't only have to. <laughs> 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 it's nice that we're having guests, you know. This is the first time yeah, actually sure. since yeah. COVID I'm having guests in my house. Can you believe it? It's excellent. We've been like so lonely here, the two of us. I'm sure. We've been sitting outside. That's right. That's, That's rough. Yeah, you gotta give me yeah, coffee. <laughs> We've been, sit, we, we've been sitting outside so much this week. Yeah, me too. Right in the corner there. Thankfully, we can sit outside. Imagine yeah. all the people in New York City. I know. That have no place to go. They go to such a park. We used to sit on the stoop, though. Stoop. We lived on the bench. There used to be stoop chairs. So, this is about how it looks. It should be finer. But the machine didn't make it fine enough. Should be more like this. So, but we'll work with it. I'm like Julia Childs in this respect. I don't mind trying new things. And now I'm chopping an onion really finely. Chopping broccoli. <laughs> an onion, not properly. Here we go. So I make stripes first in lengthwise and then I go this way. Are you seeing everything, darling? I'm watching. It's cool. Ooh. And that's a cool way to do And then I'm chopping it like so. Oh. And that makes really nice small little pieces. Mm. And my mom always says those potato pancakes doesn't don't taste good if you don't put an onion in there. Oh. So the onion is important. 
for flavor. And I personally like um, parsley mm -hmm. to go in here. So I already chopped the parsley up because I used parsley before. And um, I'm just going to get it. I'm not very picky with parsley. It's not maybe not as fine as some of you might like it. Parsley, oops. Mm. And then I'll put an egg in here. Let me see how that looks. We need to have it nice and moist need be I might have to put another egg and the egg also binds everything together and a little bit of flour we need to These are, this is the amount about um, seven of pot potatoes in here, just so that you know. Put a little bit of flour. Pepper and salt. When I lived in the East Village, mm -hmm. I had uh, for a short time of my very dearest friend, Winnie, who is also German, mm -hmm. um, as a roommate and we did potato pancakes mm -hmm. together. I still remember so that. It was so fun. Where in the East Village did you live? I lived on 11th Street mm. between B and C. Uh -huh. I was on 10th and C for a short time period. Wow. Yeah. Oh. So the 80s. This looks pretty good. And depending on how hungry these people are, you may have to make more of this. I don't mind. But let's first see how it all goes. I'm using uh, an olive, uh, not an olive oil because olive cannot tolerate heat very well. So I use sunflower oil. You can also use canola oil because that is in flavor very neutral. Okay. And that's what we need. We need a neutral flavor. Hold on. case I need it. I'll take this out. And this so here we are. And uh, maybe we put already the applesauce on the table. So 
so people can help themselves. The time comes <laughs> to have this. Here is the applesauce that we made, homemade.
So I'm heating up the pan. I have to wait. This is Tayo, by the way. This is our guest <laughs> as well. He's <laughs> looking for scraps down there. Yes, he's doing that. That's a special thing. <laughs> All right. The making of the, of the, of the thing. Making of the making. The making of the making. Yeah. That'll be interesting. So she put sunflower oil in. Eh? Okay, so let's see. I always felt like my mom when she made those. She never had time to eat her own. Oh wow. Because you have to stay with it, you know. Can't leave it alone. So you're looking at the pancake shapes. Okay. Starting. This looks so good already. I can't wait. <laughs> We're besties here. <laughs> I'm just watching. Yes, well, I'm she learning. I'm learning. She's learning because she loves potatoes. Yeah. That's an alternative. That's so good. I like with the parsley. I mean, those are good ideas. Yes, it's tasty. My mom doesn't put parsley in there, she oh. says. But when I was a kid, I remember vividly that she did put I it like in there. I like the parsley idea and the onion idea. That was cool to learn how to cut an onion. Well, I'm not a chef, but... Um, Check in the future. It's, it's, a play, it's a play one on the TV. It's all good. I think what I prefer is just uh, to show people how to do something mm. and not worry about... Be not looking perfect at all because that uh, is more encouraging to people. Yeah, sure. What is the uh, yeah. particular tool that you're holding this, right now? Yes. This is something to put, turn things the other it's way around. Up. It's a spatula of sorts. Spatula. It's a very interesting shape. Very interesting. I don't know. We bought that when um, like that. there was, what was that called? Leitner's or something? You know, when we lived in. Um, Battery Park City, we basically had to throw everything away because we had a part from the plane that flew through the window. Right. And at that time, Leitner's or whatever that was called, it was a, a, a company that had all kinds of kitchen yeah. stuff. Yeah. They went out of business. And when they went out of business, I bought all these things yeah. for little money. You think an out of business discontinued special? It's definitely discontinued because you don't know about it. Yeah. So I'm just turning it around to see how things are going. Flipping it. Flipping it. Flipping it like Biden just flipped. Georgia. Look at that. It looks pretty good. Look at it all. See, and I think that the latkes the latkes is much thicker than the potato. No, not The ones that I make here, um, the ones that we had whenever we went in a Jewish diner, or you know, right. they were really thick. Uh huh. Or the selka, remember? Oh, oh the selka. Oh. Oh. That was a great place. That sure was a it's great. It's still place. around. If you ever go to New York, you got to go to the Salkas in East Village. We should always drive down there one day at Let's like go. 1 in the morning. We're when the, when the <laughs> That's good. And things get back to I home. remember that. Vegetarian stuff, cabbage, mushroom sauce. Barley. Mushroom with barley. The pea soup. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Finish your gig at 2 coffee. or 3 in the morning and still get something to eat. That was yeah. great. Yeah, that was great. I mean, now we can eat at three o'clock at night anymore, but we're past those days where... 
I could still eat it. Me too. Did you guys stop awake. at Veselka after Jacket? No, we never thought of it. That would have been a good idea. So if we went, now I want to redo my time travel thing. I go back to Jacket, <laughs> stop in Veselka. <laughs> <laughs> we should have done that, Joe. Yeah, Why no. did you choose the Jackiers? The Jackiers. So I can stop yeah. in Veselka. And every Saturday night jazz. That was a nice gig. See how nicely that looks here? Mm -hmm. Very nice. Mm, and it smells so banking. good. Does this camera have this, this smell vision feature, or you didn't get that? That's a good feature. I give you the smelling feature. Didn't come with it? Oh, this is so That's got to be an iPhone 14. Yeah, that'd be good. iOS 14. That smells good. It so does smell good. Oh, no, iOS 16. So everybody 16. has to put some um, applesauce on their plates. You got that right. The first round is coming, guys. Wow, that's pretty damn exciting. Oh, this is nice and crunchy. I'm just gonna have to just for a tad longer. The jars are really nice. See how nice? I like it crunchy, but some people may not whatever, like it. Really whatever crunchy. you recommend, we're gonna go by your recommendation. <laughs> if you haven't steered this one. No, yet. it's all whatever. I want to go on record for saying Gabby's food is the best. Oh, yeah, we always enjoy Gabby's food big time. I so, agree. I'm just stripping oh. it off a little bit. I'm not too fussy with all this um, fat, but some people might want to put um, a little bit of um, a towel or a you know, paper towel. We're not fussy with our fat either. So, I'm going to give everyone one, and then you try it, and you tell me what we think. Okay. What you think. Danke schön, so thank you. Bitte schön. Hold on, Joe. And Ooh, wow, that looks beautiful. Joe. It has an interesting shape. Mine looks a little one like uh, Australia. So let's give it a taste. Mine's like Philadelphia. This is a serious looking potato pancake. Oh, a, little, a little crunch to it, excellent. Yeah, that's what we like. A that's what we're looking for. And what do you think? And oh. now lifting your potato pancake onto the fork. <laughs> Moving in Germany, we eat those like this, Ooh. Joe, like so, Chopsy. Oh, Chopsy. We just. Just Eat it like this. Put it in our hand. Mmm. 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 Success. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, God, I love it. Mmm. So good. Oh, so good. <laughs> this is really good. Isn't this killer? We'll, we'll give you some more stuff. What do you think of the potato pancakes? So good. I have to say, I have had potato so pancakes good. from my grandmother. You've had them from your grandmother, right? I grew up with uh, potato lockers. So did I. These are outstanding. These are These major are really league good. potato pancakes. These are yeah. really good. Major league. So really I'm good. not talking. Joe's plate right here. Mm -hmm. mm. Delicious. Do that mm, one more time. Mm. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Mm. Guten Appetit. <laughs>